If you haven't read the first issue of Project Territory by TPM and Halseg, I highly recommend you do because spoilers. Also, you may as well watch JC Squared's summary, but here is my Accelerators theory on the Accelerators expanded universe of Project Territory. In canon, it's generally well known that the Metal Maniacs are slightly closer to each other than the Tekawa, hence their motto being welded. Delving into this comic, this arises huge problems within the Teku. First off, quoting from Barbie, she basically calls the Accelerodrome Teku group a bunch of quitters, hence why I think this Teku group led by Barbie is starting to splinter off into its own thing, hence creating basically two separate Teku groups of the same name. The second thing to do with the Teku and Maniacs is rivalry. In canon, it seems like the middle Maniacs were the dominant street racers until the Teku came along, hence Diesel Riggs' bio being of this nature. Thus, Taurus saw it as a friendly competition, while Talk saw it as a pure rivalry. Good races to actually race and prove yourself to be better than. However, it seems like the Teku's reputation were mainly carried through Kurt and Vert since they were world race drivers after all, as well as Tono and Nolu being talented yet good at street racing. However, because of Tono's death and lack of his own calm demeanour, it caused a full-fledged rivalry even turning into violence. But since the higher tier Teku drivers have left, Barbie's group of Teku have started losing many of their own street races with the Maniacs, hence why Altigo says they can't keep up anymore and why Barbie's ego gets hurt, so she goes all out in the most dangerous race so far. The overall theme seems to be is, is it worth it to risk something to prove something to your ego? Anyway, theorising about the Teku characters themselves, Barbie has a necklace like Nolu's. From this we can theorise that she was close to Tono or Nolo in some way since Nolo's necklace is basically Tono's and they almost are the same. Her demeanour is also like Nolo's being very challenging, provocative, direct and aggressive which suggests she took on those traits or gave them to Nolo or Tone. Her relationship with Justin also seems to be like an older sister type relationship, being somewhat protective, being somewhat bothering or annoying, maybe even a crush, I don't know, yet forcing him to grow in some way. Something like a MJ relationship in Spider-Man. Barbie's car also seems to be inspiration from Baseline and Battle Spec. Also, I think Barbie was selected to be the leader not only because she's rich and can, can sugar mummy and pay for everything, but because of her connection to Talk and Nolo, and that basically makes sense. Nolo was the leader because of his connection to Tone, so maybe Barbie is the leader because of her connection to Tone and Nolo. With Justin, it's basically stated the reason he's in the Teku is because of the Wheeler. It seems to me that he's developing an AI to drive or some sort of prototype technology, code, or other, you know, technology thing to be used for racing. I also think he's the Teku equivalent of Monkey, more on the techie side than the mechanical side. Not exactly the best at driving, but can still do well, however he's most focused on the cars themselves. His car also seems to be a hybrid between Power Rage and Spectine. One panel in the comic seems to me that he might be cheating or may have some device to help him drive in order to make up for his lack of skill, but I don't know yet. Now onto the Metal Maniacs. Altigo says something about dirty tricks. Perhaps this suggests that this rivalry is flaring up to something very bad with unintended consequences and will only escalate from here. Hence the race. For Dexter, Talk obviously left him in charge to be the Dominic Toretto for the rest of the Maniacs, being the family guy. Basically, that's all I got for Dexter. Not much is really known because it's, it's only like one issue. For Altego, his design is very similar to Monkey's and is known as the mechanic of all mechanics. Therefore, I theorise that he's got a relationship with Monkey in some way, being maybe a mentor of some sort, with his car actually being very similar to Ratified. Like, really similar. Basically, he's a better version of Monkey and he can actually drive. As for the driver ratings, I think the best drivers is Barbie being the most talented, Altego being the most skilled, Dexter being the most experienced and Justin being the most innovative or something along those lines. As for the rest of the comic, Dexter suggests that this will be a lesson for both teams, so maybe both teams may cause a lot of collateral damage, maybe kill some civilians or maybe go to prison and uh, really teach them something. As for the last character, the Commissioner. I think he could potentially be a very experienced policeman dealing with street races, 
but although this could be out of the bag, um, I think it could be a silencer. Recruiting captured talented drivers to race for the silencers. Anyway, that was the video. What did you think?